a 30 day chart. We've got resistance, recent resistance at 65, recent support around 63.50. You can see that was a nice consolidation pattern that went on for about 15 days. Recently broke out of consolidation resistance above that 65. We got a move of $1.50 anticipated here, which takes the stock to 66.50. Pull out a little bit further. We're gonna go all the way out to a five year chart. All right, so you can see on this longer term chart, we're zoomed in on the five year chart, we have an inverse head and shoulders pattern. They are the left shoulder, head, right shoulder, and the inverse head and shoulders resistance line right there. So the base of the head is 37.50. The resistance point is 55 approximately. Uh, so all in all, that's a 17 and a half point height for this head and shoulders pattern. Add 17.50 to the 55 breakout point, and we have an expected move of 72.50. So you can see there's still some longer term legs potentially left here. Uh, currently at 65.44 in UPS. We go all the way out to the, zoom back out on this five-year chart. You can see there's quite a bit of resistance right at that 72.50 level. So um, if it manages to get to that 72.50 level we mentioned for the inverse head and shoulders pattern, that's going to run into quite a bit of resistance. That may be the uh, the full move that UPS is able to make. Just depends on what kind of momentum, what kind of market environment we're in, etc. But looking for a longer-term move to 72.50 here within the next several months and a short-term move to 66 feet.